Arson, come on, you're gonna be late. Arson. I've been calling and knocking. Huh? You know that I don't like to come over to your mom's house unannounced. Sorry, Dad, I was just really locked in. I didn't hear you. How could you not hear me? You don't even have your headset on. Now come on, let's go. I don't have all day. Where's your lunch? Why are you checking all these places? Check the kitchen counter or the fridge. I just get a tendency to set things down in random places when I get distracted. Yeah, it's because of those stupid video games. You know, you have the attention span of a goldfish. Where's your duffel bag? You know that you're staying with me tonight. Let's go. So how was school, son? What the heck is this? I've never seen you get lower than a 4.3 ever. Hey, you gonna answer me? Give me that. Hey, wait, 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 I was just in the middle you of- You should be in the middle of a study. You used to be a 4.5 GPA student. I used to brag about you all the time to my boss, Nico. But now my boss's son is tracking to become valedictorian instead of my kid. You care to explain what happened? I don't know. Oh, I do. It's obvious. <sighs> I told your mom that we should take away your games because that's what's wrong with your generation. You know, you're all glued to these monitors and screens all day. You know, and I bet Nico's son, he doesn't waste his time with video games. No wonder he's so smart. Now start working on your homework or I'm gonna take this away for good. Civilization began in the fertile crescent. Civilization arable plain. Wait, arable plain. What did I just read? Let me try that again. Let me try that again. Civilization began in the Fertile Crescent, the arable plain of Tigris and Euphrates, the arable plain of Tigris and Euphrates, of Tigris and Euphrates river valleys. I hate this. This is so boring. I wonder what my dad's cooking. This is so hungry. I wish he didn't get so mad at me about this place that's so much. Focus, focus, focus. Civilization began in the Fertile Crescent. What the heck is a Fertile Crescent? Ugh, I can't do this. And my head hurts. I can't do this. Seriously, Carson, you haven't written a single word. Sorry, I'm getting up like this huge migraine and I'm having some trouble concentrating. The reason that you have such a short attention span is because you're addicted to these video games. I'm not addicted to video games, Dad. I think the problem is... I, I have ADHD. And a friend of mine has the exact same symptoms. Look, and because he probably plays video games too. Now, I told you before, I don't want to hear anything about this ADHD crap. It's not a real thing. Can I at least talk to a doctor about it? Like, maybe there's some meds. Absolutely not. You're not going to see a doctor, and you're not going to get on any meds, okay? What you're going to do is delete these games. Wait, 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 Dad, please. Working hard, eh? <sighs> I can see where your son gets it from. No wonder why he's killing it in the school. <laughs> so speaking of, how's that young bright man of yours doing? He's great. He's great. Yeah. Thanks for asking, Nico. And, you know, oh, he's doing really well. You know, I'm just so proud of him. Just getting those straight A's all the time. So it's glad to hear that. <laughs> Gabriel, hey. you remember Jerry, don't you? Hey, how's it going? Good. Well, we decided to go out to celebrate because this bright young man just got another 4.5 GPA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. You are the best. Take care, Jerry. Have a good day. Bye. My 
this one's so great. All right, class. Now there are three types of chemical bonds. Ionic, covalent, and metallic. And each has its own characteristics and properties. What is she even talking Ionic about? Ionic bonds are formed when about? electrons are transferred. Did, Did Jacob get a haircut? To another. I wonder if Jacob, I wonder if Jacob still wants to be an astronaut. That's Ion. all he talked about in elementary school. Man, I kind of miss when recess was a thing. Come on, come on, let's focus. Everyone's taking notes, but you. Why did I even sign up for AP Chemistry? I don't even like science. Mrs. Gilmer has such a boring voice. Why can't teachers make learning more fun? Oh, that game was so fun. Still can't believe my dad deleted it. I was so close to beating that level. Maybe I can beat that level real quick. All right, class. Now, who can tell me what kind of compound is water? Gabriel. Covalent? Exactly right. Good job. Carson. Carson. Carson, would you care to tell us what kind of compound aluminum oxide is? Carson. Carson. <laughs> After speaking with Carson's teachers and the school counselor, I recommend that he seek professional help. His grades are slipping and he's been described as distracted and anxious in class. We've seen these symptoms several times before and Professional help can make a difference. By professional help, you mean... A psychiatrist. I have some referrals from our school counsellor that have helped lots of other kids. Oh, that's not going to be necessary, because I already identified the problem. Why don't we talk about this as a family and then get back to you? Carson, why don't you go wait in my car? We are not wasting time and money on some shrink when we already know the problem. He's clearly falling behind because he's wasting all of his time with those dumb video games. You shouldn't assume that you know what's causing someone problems or be so quick to dismiss it. What if there's something else going on? Don't you want to get him all the help that he needs? He doesn't need help. He needs discipline. I keep on telling you to just lock away his PlayStation, but you don't listen. Jerry... I don't want to hear it, Taylor. I don't. Look, we're not taking him to some shrink, okay? I won't allow it. So... Dad's okay with me being here? No, but he will be, eventually. Based on our evaluation, Carson has extreme inattentive ADHD. And that's probably the reason what's causing his migraines and anxiety. In fact, even just the stress of trying to cope with ADHD can cause those migraines and anxiety. See? I try to tell Dad that. So where do we go from here? Well, there are several treatment options for you to consider, such as CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, or we could prescribe medication. But medication isn't for everyone, but it is an option. What do you want to do, honey? There's no pressure at all. What's going on? Something that I should have done a long time ago. You are grounded for a foreseeable future. What? No. Yes. Clearly, this is affecting your academic performance. 
And you know what? I don't want to have to go take time away from work to go to another meeting about your ineptitude. That isn't fair. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You know what? I'm going to tell your mother to do the same at her house, okay? So why don't you go do your homework before I take your phone away from you? Around 2400 BCE, Around the non-Sumerian city of Akkad. Non-Sumerian city. Around 2400 BCE, the non-Sumerian city of. What's BCE? The non-Sumerian city. Akkad. What's an Akkad? BCE. Focus. Focus. What's an Akkad? What's Sumerian even? What's Sumerian even mean? I don't understand why I'm even learning this. I don't understand why I'm even learning this. Hate to tell you I told you so, but I told you so. Have you seen Carson's grades? They've been improving ever since I get rid of those video games. I don't think that's the reason, because I let him play when he's here. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I took Carson to see a doctor, and the doctor has officially diagnosed him with ADHD, and he started treatment for that. I think that's what's been helping him. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Where are you going? What are you doing? I was in the middle of a game. I cannot believe that your mom didn't take away these video games in the first place. You know that you shouldn't be wasting your time with this. You should be spending your time on doing your homework. I finished my homework hours ago. I don't believe you. I did. I promise. Okay. I'll see for myself. What is this? No son of mine is gonna be a druggie. You know that these are designed to get you hooked. No, they're not. They're helping me so much. I tried to tell you that's what's helping him with his grades. Okay. okay. Don't! What are you doing? Harry! Get those don't. back to him! Why would you do that? That's the only thing that's made me feel normal and focused. And, and I can't get a refill for almost 30 days. You're never getting another refill again. You hear me? That's so unfair. Don't you care about what I want? Not when you want to fry your brain with these pointless games. Oh, will you stop crying like a little baby? And stop lying to yourself. You don't have ADHD or anything else like that. You have a video game addiction. And you're lucky that I just saved you from having a drug addiction. I hate you. I never want to see you or stay with you ever again. What is wrong with you? That was completely uncalled for. You really hurt him. Do you have any idea how much those meds were helping him? He's gonna be fine, you know? Look, he's just a typical teenager, can't control his emotions. And you know what, he's gonna thank me when he realizes that meds is just a ploy for big pharma to just make money off of ignorant consumers. That's not always the case. Sometimes people truly need medicine because of a chemical imbalance in the brain. Oh yeah, and like, what do you know about meds? A little. I was on them once. I never told you about this. At the time, I felt like I had no other option. You see, after Carson was born, it was supposed to be the happiest time of our lives. 
But for me, it was the hardest. I felt overwhelmed, lost in a sea of emotions I couldn't navigate. The exhaustion was hard, but it wasn't just physical. It was like I was drowning in my own mind, struggling to keep my head above water. Taking care of Carson turned out to be a 24-7 job with no help. And what made it worse was that you weren't supportive. You'd yell at me and accuse me of being lazy. When I tried to explain to you how I felt, you completely dismissed everything. And then you just walked off, leaving me crying all alone. I knew what I had was postpartum depression, but I also knew I could never talk to you about it. The only time I tried is the day that you walked out on us. I begged you to try to understand what I was going through, but right when I needed you most, you left us, throwing me into a deeper depression. Eventually, I decided to get help. And my psychiatrist confirmed what I thought all along. I had postpartum depression. She prescribed me medication to help me, even though the last thing I wanted was to take pills. I knew something was off in my brain. So I decided to take the doctor's advice. So you see, therapy and meds were the only thing that helped me during that dark time. And I wasn't on the pills long, but they helped me when I needed them. So I have seen firsthand how medicine, when prescribed by a doctor, can be helpful, which is why I was advocating for Carson to see a psychiatrist and try therapy. The same way I've been advocating for us to try therapy to improve our relationship as co-parents. You're wrong. There's no such thing as postpartum depression. It's just another big lie perpetrated by Big Pharma to push more pills, just like ADHD. Therapy and medication never solve anything. Not for you, not for us, not for Carson. It's the video games that are cause of all of his problems. No, Jerry. Just because you don't understand someone's issue doesn't mean they don't have one. Even his psychiatrist said that playing video games helps... I do not want to hear the word psychiatrist ever again. Not medications. And look, I promise you, Taylor, I will make sure that he never takes any more pills, even if I have to take it to court. Hey, Jerry, I brought you... Everything okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just got a lot on my mind, but I just saw Gabriel got the valedictorian. Hmm. I must be so proud. Oh, I am. And it's crazy to think how far he's come. What do you mean? Well, all throughout middle school, he was really struggling bad, really bad. He was a C student at best. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's hard to believe, I mean, considering how well he's doing now. Yeah, well, you know, we took the time to figure out what was wrong with him, what was going on, why was he failing all the grades? And it turned out he had ADHD. <sighs> Come on. I mean, you don't really believe all that nonsense, do you? Well, I didn't, to be honest. For a while, I was kind of in denial about mental issues. You know, I was getting on... Gabrielle's case all the time. But after talking to several psychiatrists and other parents who had kids with similar situations, it all started making sense. Like what? Well, for starters, 
Gabe was always a very bright kid. From an early age, from the time he was very little, so I didn't really understand why his grades were slipping so much. Well, it turns out that he brute forced his way through school until he couldn't anymore. Even if he didn't study or did his homework at the last minute, he was always smart enough to ace everything. You know, he was naturally gifted. But of course, that couldn't last forever. For a while, I blamed his bad grades on him being on the computer playing video games all the time. But actually, it turns out that that is his way to cope with the situation he's going through. He explained to me that when he's playing video games, he can actually laser focus on something and stop his brain from racing with all these various thoughts all the time. So you're saying that video games actually helped him? In a way, yes. And when the psychiatrist told me that, I thought she was crazy. Of course, I told him that video games should be regulated. But she explained to me that just taking away all the video games and everything all together without really solving the root of the problem wasn't going to solve anything. In fact, I was actually hurting my son even more by doing so, especially since he's actually playing video games to cope with the problem he's going through. You know what's interesting? Growing up, I was taught to tough out anything I was going through and never complain. In fact, most of my generation was taught the same thing. But one thing I did learn really well from going through this whole thing with Gabriel is that just because someone doesn't understand somebody else's issues, that doesn't mean the issue doesn't exist. And when I was able to understand and accept that, I was then really able to help my son much better. And now he's just performing better than ever. Carson, can we talk? Go away! I don't want another one of your lectures. Please, just... I just want to apologize. I was wrong for what I did. Here. You can have your video games back. And, uh... Yeah, you this. How did you... I talked to the psychiatrist. I told him what happened, and he made an exception. Why are you doing all this? Because I realized that I need to start listening and stop judging. I'm sorry that I wasn't more supportive of you and your feelings. But for here on out, I'm going to be better. That's all I ever wanted to hear, Dad. And just so you know, I'm, I'm not going to rely on the medication. I'm only going to use it when I really need it. I understand your concerns, so I'll be careful and I'll talk to you about it. I trust you, son. And I know how smart you are, valedictorian or not. Thank you for doing that. So just let me know what time you want to pick him up on Friday. Sure. Well, I was hoping that I could talk to you, too. Sit. <clears throat> you never deserved what I put you through. I never should have dismissed your postpartum depression like that. I looked into it, and it just makes me sick to my stomach that I abandoned you when you needed me the most. I'm beyond sorry, Taylor. Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. 
Now I know that our relationship uh, is a little too late to be saved. But I was thinking maybe we should see a therapist. Like you were saying, it could help us better at co-parenting. Uh, like I know it's going to be tough for me, but I've been looking at a few therapists, so if you're still interested. I'd like that a lot. You're so bad at that. Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I need about like six months to a year. Rush and you know, like, oh, I asked you a couple things. It's so expensive. You're so competitive at it. Hey, guys. What's oh. up? What are you doing here? <laughs> Wait, don't tell me. You're taking Carson early out today because he got straight A's too, like Gabriel did. Let me show you. Here. Whoa, Gabriel. That's amazing. Thank Isn't you. it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, Carson got a couple of B's out of 3.6. Yeah. That's excellent, Carson. <laughs> Congratulations. Very good. And we're really proud of him. Thanks, Dad.